the story of how I started reading. So let's get started. So I'm pretty sure you have a lot of questions running in your head, but the first actual book, non-picture book that I read was a very particular book. And I'm pretty sure most of you have read it. It's Harry Potter. Um, like I was so obsessed. I like read all the seven books. It took me a long time, but I read all of them. And my mama needed to help me because there were many big, big words. I read all the seven books and I watched all the movies, all of them. And I, I went to fan sites and I also know which house I'm in. I've been slithered in. Anyways, today I'm not going to be reviewing Harry Potter because I'm pretty sure most of you have read it. I am going to be reviewing the 8th book of Harry Potter. The 8th book of Harry Potter is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And yes, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is a play. Plays are a little more difficult to read than um, novels because it's all in quotes and it has very less explanation compared to novels. So this book, I was so into Harry Potter that I wanted more and more. So my mama found this play called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. So I started reading it. Anyways, about the book now. This book is about, oh no, 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 wait. You please don't watch the rest of this review if you haven't read all the seven books about Harry Potter. This review has a lot of spoilers on Harry Potter. And of course, you can't read this book if you haven't read the seven books of Harry Potter because this is the eighth book and you won't understand a thing. Anyways, this book, I mean this like, this takes place many years after Harry Potter has killed, Vol killed Voldemort. Uh, so, um, like, he's married to Ginny and has three kids, James, Lily, and Albus Severus Potter. Draco Malfoy also has a son called Scorpius Malfoy. He's my favorite character in this whole book. And Draco Malfoy was also my favorite character in the Harry Potter books. I don't know, maybe that's why I'm in Slytherin. But I don't like people who are all good and I don't like people who are all bad. Like Voldemort, I especially don't like Voldemort. So I like people who learn from their mistakes and who become good. Maybe that's why I like Draco Malfoy. Anyways, so Scorpius and Albus become best friends. Can you imagine? And I like this also because it makes me feel good that I can be friends with anyone you want. And they're bullied about their parents. Oh, so not cool. Anyways, so the, like they, they want to run away from the school and a lot of things happen, which involves Cedric Diggory, which involves uh, Voldemort, which involves Stan Turners, a lot of things. And also the villain is very unexpected. I did not, um like I, I did not know who the villain was until the end. So yeah, brace yourself for the unexpected. Anyways, did I like the book or not? Well, I, I realized that it was a little hard uh, to read uh, compared to the seven books of Harry Potter. It was hard and also I think they overcomplicated it. They could make it a little more simple. But also this is a play and um, uh, I, w I would like to see this play because that, I, like, there's a lot of magic in it and I would really like to see how they perform on stage. Um, and I've heard that they're doing the play in London so um, maybe someday I can go watch it. Now let's go to the ratings. Let's proceed with the four categories that I made. One, enjoyment. I enjoyed it, but not as much as the Harry Potter books. And I actually, I actually enjoyed it because I think it would be so cool for us to do magic all the time. And I really liked it. Um, I'm not sure about the first reading part if I enjoyed it. Because like the first time I read it, I didn't understand half of the book. Anyways, the second one. Will I reread it? Um, yeah, I actually read it three times because I had to go. I was like, oh, did I understand that? Oh, yeah, I have to read it again. And I read it. Oh, I didn't get it there. And I had to read it a lot of times. But maybe after some months, after I forget, I'll read it again. So, yeah. And will I recommend it to others? Yes, I recommend it to you because if you want Harry Potter to go on, this is perfect for you. Anyways, the last one, did I personally connect with the book? I, I connected with part of the book, the friendship part. I've had friends who have been mean to me and I've had friends who I've fought with and I've friends who are really nice to me, like they're my best friends. Uh, that's only 
one part of the book that I connected with, not the whole part. Anyways, now final rating. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. I give it a 6 out of 10. Good job, good job, good job, good job. This was the review of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I really hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to Boo's Cozy Nook. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed this review. Bye. Slithering. Anyways, so uh, make a guess. Anyways, I was so I started reading it. Anyways, about the book now. So, anyways, in this book. Anyways, in this. Anyways, anyways, now.